Wisdom 107. The law of push and persistent. Now, the challenge many people have, you try once, you face obstacle, then you retreat. Look up. Everybody look at me. Look at me. If God promised you Canaan, and you step into Canaan, and there is no resistance, keep moving, you are not in Canaan yet. The proof that God is with you is resistance. Therefore, many people crash on the journey because of the law of push and persistence. Many of us, we try the first time it didn't work out, we pack up. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand as your prophet. You may have failed once as you try again and again and again. The grace to succeed, if I hear your loudest amen, is coming upon you now. <laughs> they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagle. They shall run. They shall not faint. In Genesis 26 and verse 18. Watch this. Genesis 26 and verse number 18. And Isaac digged again. Meaning they have dug before. The wells of water. Which they had digged in the days of Abraham his father. For the Philistines have stopped them. After the death of Abraham, and called their names after the names of which his father called them. But in verse 19, watch verse 19. And Isaac's servant digged in the valley and found there a well of springing water. The question I want to ask, if they had stopped, would they see spring? If they had stopped, would they see spring? Can I talk to somebody here? I don't know what you have tried to do. I don't know what you are doing currently. I don't know where you are in life. But I'm here to challenge you. If you have done before, dig again. If you have done before, dig again. Nelson Mandela was in prison for 27 years. Because of his conviction. Because of his purpose. For 27 years, the apartheid leader was in the prison. He came out of prison and became president. What are we talking about? How many people have tried once, tried twice, tried three times, keep failing, and yet they didn't give up? The challenge you have, Satan wants you to give up. But if you refuse to give up, you will stand up. And Isaac, dig again the wells of the fathers. The Philistine came and put sand. He was still digging. They tried to distract him. He was digging. Now hear this. When you find spring water, the whole world will gather around you. People want to celebrate glory, but they don't want to know the story. Am I talking to someone here? Tell your neighbor, say, dig again. Yeah. You are not saying it well. Say, dig again. Yeah. Wisdom 107, the law of push and persistent. Pastor, I fail. Try. I was denied visa. Knock again. I tried the business. It didn't work. Knock again. Pastor, you don't understand. I have had three men propose to me, not married me. None is good enough. Keep moving. None is good enough. The one that is good for you will stay. I don't think about yesterday's failure. I don't think about yesterday's disappointment. I press forward like Paul. He said, this is one thing that I do. I press forward. I don't look behind me. I look forward. And Isaac dig again. Pastor, I opened a restaurant. It didn't work. God wants you to do it better. Pastor, I have a shop. I don't like the turnover. Keep turning it over until there is a turnover. The law of push. The law of consistency. So mightily grew the word of God consistently and prevailed. Keep knocking. If the door refuses to open, hit it. If it refuses to open, push it. If it refuses to open, break it. Break it. You are too gentle. That's why you have not settled. The law push. The 
Lord push. The Lord push. The woman with the issue of blood, when she saw the crowd, looked at the crowd, he said, I'm here for a different purpose. If only I can touch the hem of his garment. Are you hearing what I'm saying? She began to crawl. With her blood, she began to crawl. With her blood, she passed through Peter. They tried to stop her. She was crawling. They tried to stop her. She was crawling. Beat the protocol. Beat everyone. And finally, touched Jesus. And Jesus said, Somebody touch me. Peter said, what is wrong with you? Everybody is touching you. And Jesus said, it's not a general touch. It's not a Pentecostal touch. It's not a charismatic touch. This is a touch of desperation. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He said, blessed are those who are hungry. They shall be fed. Those who are thirsty. The challenge I have with you, you are not looking like somebody who is desperate. Can I tell you something? Generations are waiting for you. Our fans are waiting for you. Widows are waiting for you. Your generations are waiting for you. The law of push, the law of persistence. If you don't get it the first time, push again. You don't get it the second time, push again. You don't get it the third time, push again. The fifth time, keep pushing until there's a testimony. Can I talk to someone here? Everything you tried that failed, do it again. Everything you touch that didn't work, touch it again. It's risky to take risk. More risky not to take risk. The law of push. The law of persistence. Don't give up because something happened on the way. Pick up your pieces and try it again. Can I tell you something? Somebody wrote an exam and got four over five. Another person wrote exam and got one over five. The only one, the person who got four failed, is the only one, the person who got one got. So even though you got four over five, I still got something. No matter what you think you have, I got only one. But there is something I know that you don't know. There is something I have that you don't have. Don't allow people to intimidate you. Don't allow it. Nobody will give you a chance. If you didn't hear anything, hear this. Nobody will give you a chance. Nobody, you have to push. You have to fight. You have to pull. You have to run. Nobody will give you a chance. Nobody gave me a chance. Nobody gave me a chance. You have to push. Nobody will give you a chance. If you are looking for people to give you clear for you to run, you will never find. Because the same thing you are looking for is what you are looking for. <laughs>